that floating? That, that is floating. Gosh, you can actually see. I'm Fran, I'm the science content producer at the Royal Institution. And the other day I was in the Ashmolean in Oxford in the UK and there was a Jeff Koons exhibition. Now, despite what you think of Jeff Koons as an artist, there was one piece that I really loved and it's the One Bowl Total Equilibrium where you've got this tank of seemingly just water and then suspended in it, you've got a basketball. And this basketball, it's not going up, it's not going down, it's just perfectly floating. But what intrigued me was sort of not what it looked like, but how it was made. And I thought, maybe I could try and replicate it using science. So I've got myself a fish tank, I've got myself a basketball, and I am going to try and recreate Jeff Koons' One Bowl Total Equilibrium. The first thing that came to my mind, obviously, being from the RI, was hydrogen balloons. So this balloon's full of hydrogen, so it's less dense than air. So if I let go of it, it goes up. So it's floating up. Now, if I release some hydrogen from it, I should be able to get it so it is neutrally buoyant, so it's completely, basically balanced in the air. So wherever I put it, it won't rise or sink, it will just hang out. Okay, it's still a little bit too much in there. Come on. Oh, you. So what I've achieved here is neutral buoyancy. So what that means is basically, um, the balloon is perfectly balanced with gravity. So um, at first I thought this was how Jeff Koons did the basketball thing. So um, around the hydrogen balloon, keep away, around the hydrogen balloon we've got the fluid of air, whereas Jeff Koons it's water. And this is our basketball. And I thought he'd weighted the basketball just enough to give it neutral buoyancy, just like I've weighted this hydrogen balloon with paper clips and black tack. Now, as it turns out, my first thought that he used neutral buoyancy is wrong because, quite frankly, it's, it's really impossible to get something neutrally buoyant. And that is just a balloon. I can't imagine trying to do this in a fish tank with moving water. The technique that he did use is a lot more clever. What Coons is reported to have done is to take advantage of salt water. Um, we don't necessarily know the details of what he did because it's all top secret, but basically when you add salt to water, the water becomes more dense and things float on it and that's why we float on the Dead Sea. What his artwork looks like is, this is our basketball, and if I put it about here, imagine it like this, suspended in water but without my hand, and then about halfway, so where the ball is sort of floating, about halfway up, and uh, the bottom half is full of salt water, so saturated solution of salt water, um, which means it's really, really dense, which means the ball should float on it. But the whole tank isn't full of that. The top half of the tank is full of distilled water, or we'll just use normal water, and the ball should sink in that. So it sinks in the top half, floats in the bottom half, and so it ends up just hanging out at the midway point. So what I need to do is make my basketball sink in tap water. So if I fill it with tap water, hopefully that'll happen. So what we've done is we've filled this basketball with water, which um, was not as easy as we thought. And we've basically syringed it full of water. And so hopefully now it will sink. Go on, feels like it's going to. No, go on. It's just teasing me, isn't it? At the moment, my ball isn't sinking, so I just need to do a few tweaks um, to make the baby sink. And it goes. Yay! Oh, is it? So that's the top layer sorted. I now need to sort out the bottom layer and get it floating on that. If that makes sense. For the bottom layer, what we need to do is get saturated salt solution. So um, 
that's about 350 grams of salt per liter of water. So I'm gonna try and dissolve that into it. Now, I did think about using hot water to make it easier to dissolve the salt, but then of course that would set up convection currents in my tank, which is the last thing that we want. I think we've probably got enough to try. Mm -hmm. okay. What we've got here is we've got essentially what's gonna be the top layer. So the ball is now sinking in that top layer. Here we've got a bucket full of saturated salt solution and a pipe and a jug. And I'm gonna jug in the saturated salt solution through this pipe, which should deposit it just at the bottom and it'll sink at the bottom, just like when you make a cocktail that's got multiple layers. Right. I don't know if this is gonna work. Come on. I'm pouring it as gently as I can, so I'm pouring it down the side of the tube. You can actually see it more than I thought you would be able to. When you're up close, you can see the difference in the layers. Is that floating? That, that is floating! <laughs> that looks awesome! Oh, hell yeah! I think I'm going to take my pipe out. Yeah, cool. It's like water surgery. All right, baby. So, so I need to put normal tap water on the top layer. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. Okay. So like, yeah, that's it. That's it. You pour it down a spoon. So you pour it right. Okay. I've got this. Pour in there. <laughs> All right. Boom shackle. Huh? As the whole process, it was easier than what I thought it was going to be, and the bits that were hard were the bits that I thought were going to be easy and the bits that were easy I thought were going to be hard and one thing that I hadn't thought about was how to get water into the basketball and the basketball actually sink in tap water but overall it was easier to do than I thought but I suppose that's easy to be said when someone else has come up with the idea. That's it for this rather artistic video and um, if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and you can also support us on Patreon.